Well, there's an explosive report that has now come to light and we will be delving deep into it, getting multiple reactions because this is all about open AI or artificial intelligence. There is a certain report that alleges that there has been attempts of interference, foreign interference in the ongoing elections. Pointing fingers at an Israeli firm for orchestrating an anti-BJP campaign, this content allegedly aims to disrupt the ongoing election process by spreading misinformation online. According to the report by OpenAI, there have been a cluster of accounts allegedly operated from Israel that have been implicated in covert operations. Now, these accounts were purportedly utilized to generate and edit content aimed at influencing the 2024 elections. The content was disseminated across various platforms of social media, including X, Facebook, Instagram, websites, and YouTube. Now, as we delve deeper into the implication of these revelations, we also talk about exactly when it comes to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who had once hinted, and that too exclusively speaking two times now, over a possible level of interference that seems to be taking when it comes to uh, the ongoing elections, the Lok Sabha elections, to influence the voters, to influence the minds. However, the targeted audiences in India focused mainly on criticizing the ruling BJP and praising the opposition. However, what is being said that this campaign was detected and thereafter disrupted, but there were a range of tactics that were employed to create an illusion of engagement and authenticity. Remember, nothing was real. This is all generated by AI. This is all generated by artificial intelligence. Let me go across to Rishabh now. Rishabh, what does this open AI report say? We also talk about a certain involvement of an Israeli firm. To which extent that did they go when it comes to manipulating the voter mind? Rishab, if you can tell us about this report, please. So what is being said till now as we connect with our reporters, as far as the interference which has now been suggested in the recent Lok Sabha elections, which is ongoing, today being the last and the final and the seventh phase of the Lok Sabha elections, this was a covert operation and uh, attempt to rather influence the minds of the people, of the public at large, and especially when it comes to the anti-BJP agenda, that was being spread. Because remember, when it comes to certain articles, certain comments, such uh, articles that were generated to project an anti-BJP mindset. This is said to be an Israeli firm that allegedly meddled when it comes to the ongoing Lok Sabha elections. However, what is being said that this campaign was detected and thereafter disrupted as well, it created fictional personas on social media tailored to specific variables like age, gender, location. There were fake accounts that were set up. So none of this was actually real because everything was generated on the basis of AI. But this was an attempt to fabricate an impression of genuine audience interaction. So it will completely look like that the person who has been commenting on such uh, articles is actually a real one, but it is not so. We have Minakshi with us, who will uh, specifically take us through the main pointers, Minakshi, in that report. And of course, we are told that a union minister has also reacted on. Well, absolutely, Amit, and we'll talk about that reaction as well. But first, let us take our viewers to exactly what the report says. Obviously, we have our reporters also who will be joining us very shortly. Now, talking about the report, this is the report. Uh, a sensational, a bombshell claim to say the least. And this is happening in the middle of the polls. This is just two to three days before, of course, uh, we have the results coming in and a sensational claim like this coming to the fore. I'm going to read some excerpts from the report verbatim. Now, the report talks about some clusters uh, which were, uh, you know, disrupting uh, 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 the online space, uh, creating some sort of a motivated uh, post and agenda and peddling it online. And then it goes on to say, talking about other countries, how, you know, social media posts were uh, given out in Hebrew, etc. And finally, in May, the network began generating comments that focused on India, 
criticizing the ruling BJP party and praise the opposition Congress party. Sometimes the network appears to have flipped its account from one topic to another. For example, accounts which had earlier posted about Canada switching focus to USA and India. So what this means, to simplify this for our viewers, that in May itself that OpenAI had seen that there was some India-specific uh, you know, content which was being created, comments um, which were being pushed and peddled in the online space and the uh, you know what it was doing the idea of these posts and these comments basically was to criticize the ruling BJP party uh, if you you know imagine as a viewer uh, if you have a mobile phone in your hand you go to the comment section and you see multiple posts you know against the ruling BJP party it is likely or at least possible to say the least to influence the voters mind so was it done to manipulate uh, the mandate was uh, this done to manipulate the voting pattern we'll have to wait and watch but obviously as you said that this has led to a massive slugfest online as well. Union minister, one of them has uh, you know responded on the same. We'll talk about it. But this really is the part which we'd like to highlight from the report. Right. Minakshi, right next to that tab, you can see uh, Rajiv Chandrasekhar's tab also there. We can read out exactly what uh, he has been saying over this because the reaction that is also coming on part uh, of the government officially, that too needs to be pointed out. As far as this open AI report is concerned, of course, uh, many uh, would suggest and would think that for India or for Indian citizens, especially who have been voting this time around, many of them were said to be critical of the BJP and in support of the opposition party. In the meantime, we also have Rishab with us right now. Rishab, to what extent are we looking at this interference that uh, may have been attempted to take place with the ongoing elections? Going by the o uh, open AI report, uh, what we uh, uh, are gathering that before the, this company could establish uh, itself in social media with its comments, with its posts, uh, it was stopped by OpenAI. As for OpenAI, OpenAI's uh, you know uh, software was being used by this company uh, for creating and decimating content on social media. And as Manakshi was pointing out, the same accounts which were busy peddling, uh, you know, influential tweets uh, for U.S. and Canada by January and February. By March and April, the same account started working uh, with respect to India. And here, uh, ruling party, the BJP, was targeted by these accounts is what the OpenAI report suggests. And in favor of opposition, mean opposition party Congress, is again what uh, this uh, uh, suggests. So it would be very interesting to see whether uh, this company was functioning on the, you know, uh, on the uh, indications of people from India or were the external uh, powers involved. That is uh, part of investigation that will happen. We have heard the union minister also uh, talking about it. The open AI says that by May, it has trotted the whole attempt, which means by the time the elections began, these accounts were stopped by open AI. Also, a related report has come in from Meta, where an anti-India uh, you know, agenda was being peddled by certain accounts on uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram, as well as the social media platform X. And that has also been stopped by Meta, is what we are given to understand.